Oh, 2020. Oh, 2020. What are you like? So this is meant to be a little bit of a cathartic. Is that the right way to describe it? Video for me because 2020, the year we decided to get married. Also the year that the world decided to go a little bit crazy. So this video is gonna be me kind of having an outlet on the fact that we have just canceled our wedding. We've officially just canceled it. We've just let friends and family know we still plan to get married. Like we still love each other don't worry that's not changed what has changed though is the fact that we can no longer get married this year if you guys don't know in the uk they went ahead and changed the rules so that you can only have 15 no it was originally 30 people at a wedding including staff working at the venue and then they changed it again to allow only 15 people including the staff so wedding probably ain't gonna happen at this point it's fine we're trying to deal we're trying to deal the other thing that kind of sucks for us is that our venue also will no longer exist next year they're changing it into a residential so we can no longer have our venue the other really fun thing that they've decided to do is not give anybody their deposits back even though they've sold and we can't reschedule they've just decided to steal all that money from us so that's been um really really wonderful and not stressful times at all not stressful meaning that we might not be able to do the wedding we wanted anymore because we just lost a bunch of money but yeah what i was thinking that we would do today is since our wedding got cancelled and since the wedding that we wanted to do we will obviously no longer be able to do anymore i was like okay i wanted to kind of save this for something to like reveal to you guys when we actually got married and we were gonna film it and like show it to you guys but since we can't do that anymore i was like okay i'll just build it in sims so you guys can at least see what our venue could have been if we'd have been able to do what we wanted to do so that is what we're doing in today's video I'm gonna build a wedding venue. Is it gonna make me feel better or is it gonna make me feel worse? I guess we will find out. So I've picked this lot because I mean this isn't the way it looked but it was like an old stately kind of there's a lot of these in the UK these really old stately homes. Some of them are lived in. Some of them are not. Ours had half like one wing of the house was lived in by a family and then they had another family living in the rest of the house during the lockdown and then that family decided to buy the house. They already knew this when we were looking and didn't tell us that they were going to be selling it when we went ahead and decided to use that as our wedding venue which means that you know if we'd have if they'd have told us if anything happens you won't be able to use this venue because people will be moving into it next year so it has to happen in december or no other time we might have reconsidered getting married there but yeah there's an awful lot of shadiness in the decision making for this so yeah it is like a <laughs> can you tell i'm trying so hard so hard to keep the salt in but it's it's pouring out like I need some padron peppers and just put the salt on them because then at least it would be tasty and I could eat it. But it was like a stately home like this and it looked out across beautiful gardens. So I thought that this venue would probably be the best place to do it. And I asked Ali like, is it okay if I kind of make a replica of the venue so that we can like, I can show people what it could have been because obviously our plans will have to change now. I don't know what time of year we'll be getting married now. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. So I've checked with him and it is all good. So I am going to be creating what the ceremony room would have looked like where we would have got married and it would have been quite like a special room we were going ham with creating a special theme which was think winter wonderland think skyrim vibes we were gonna go all in and create like um almost like a fantasy universe for our guests at our wedding because it's always been my dream to do something like that at my wedding at our wedding so yeah that is the kind of vibe we were going for and i'm gonna try and recreate that in the sims i also, I'm trying to remember in my head the way that everything looks. So let me check that out. Oh, okay. It's even prettier than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is supposed to make me feel better. I think it makes me want to do some, some boohoos, to be honest. It's fine. I swear, it's fine. Oh, can I be lifted any further? Rude. It's meant to be like columns going like the whole way up. Because it's like double story. Is that the right term? But I don't know. This is where the Sims to me gets... Look, I can move you all big, but then you go small when you go back inside the house. Who decided that would be a good idea? Foolishness. Okay, we've got a little bit creative with it just to make it work. 
be with me. Okay, so this is why it's so pretty. All of this was like gorgeous windows. Okay, they don't look gorgeous right now, but look at how onto all the grounds. It was so freaking pretty. And this is the room where we were supposed to get married in. So the floor was like beautiful tiles and the walls were all white. It was such like a bright, beautiful room, which I really loved. And the owner collected like a bunch of like, what do we call them? Like artifact vibes. So like columns, like Roman columns or like like columns from buildings in England, like really old buildings. And they were all over this wall, which looked really cool. He's obviously, he must not be named now. <laughs> oh, the salt. I can taste the salt. This is bad for my cholesterol. <gasps> oh my gosh, it was just like this. Like this kind of vibes. Oh, oh man. <laughs> there was a bunch of them. They were actually all like more white, but I can't get white on this. But like all these ruins, like beautiful old ruins. Wow, I did not actually think... Oh, I did not actually think I'd be able to put all of this stuff in. I really wish it was white because it was definitely like lighter than what you're seeing here. Because the whole room was like very white. Oh, this is really tough. And I don't know why, but the game has suddenly decided to let me do that. So I'm going to jump on those big long columns while I can now. Okay, so now that we've got all those bits... <laughs> This is so painful. Now that we've got all those bits on the wall, like it was kind of kooky and like a bit eclectic and a bit out there. And at the time we were like, oh, this is so funky. Like the guy that owns the house, he's so out there and cool. Respect that, love that. And also there was like a bunch of like this stuff. What's it called? You stuff an animal? The dead stuffed animals, which obviously we don't like. So we were getting a bunch of them removed, but we were also like, oh, but we don't want to put them out too much. Like don't want to cause any issues. Blah, blah, blah. Like try to be all nice and i'm like we didn't need to be doing that you know we did not need to be doing that we were just too nice for our own good that's our problem i'm gonna start being meaner <gasps> i can't i say i want to but i know i just can't but yeah it was like a bit it was like big disco balls but it was so high up and the rest of the room was so grand it was kind of wild it was kind of cool i'm not usually a disco ball fan but it did look kind of cool however i can't really find anything that fits the bill maybe this is the closest thing so i will try hang some of these okay let me see if i get the right vibe now when i walk in Okay, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This is definitely right. This is definitely right. The weird thing is it actually had a stuffed giraffe being held up by balloons. Really weird. Obviously, we were getting all that removed. Not very vegan. <laughs> Not very uh, vegan behavior at all. So yeah, they were all gonna go. But like, as cool as this stuff was, this wasn't actually the cool bit. The cool bit is what we were gonna do with the room, which is what I am gonna try and do now. So trying to like remember this the best I can. Okay. Because I can't find any of the stuff that I was going with. But basically, we were creating a mini forest. Like, this was just the ceremony room. The place where you eat was going to be behind. Was going to have the whole ceiling having hanging flowers. And the flowers were going to join on some, some of the tables. That were going to have, like, trees on them. Like, we were going full fairy vibes. It was going to be like a fae wedding. That is what I was trying to get across. Without saying it and sounding, like, super derpy. But that is what I wanted, basically. And there was a whole tree. We were going to get married under an indoor tree. <laughs> like... Like, we were going all in, guys. We were fully going all in, you know? I'm struggling to find a tree that's the right size because that's too small, but that's kind of too big. It's going out the sides of the house. I wish you could size stuff up in, like, a scale. <gasps> and you, this was to down the aisle. Oh, man. Why did I think this was going to be cathartic and not just outright painful? <laughs> I do not know. Uh, okay, this is a better size. This is a better size. Let's do this one. So, yeah, this was, like, a tree at the end that would have, like, fairy lights hanging down. <sighs> Fairy lights hanging down from it, and that would be like where Ali's dad would have married us. This is so painful! <laughs> but let me do all the little chair reads. Honestly, this rustic romance stuff is kind of perfect. It's kind of perfect for this, which is great. Wouldn't have been pink, but you know what I mean. Oh, I found this one. Lena, that's better. And I guess this was a hundred and... 35 people, which is obviously why we've had to cancel the wedding, you know, <laughs> but like I said, if I couldn't have all my family and friends there, I didn't want to get married, you know, because we were not having a religious wedding because I'm not religious. So we were going to do the registry bit before, which is why like this bit was so important to like, is that a bit too close to the front? I think that's okay. Which is why this bit was so important because this was more just like throwing a big old party for our friendos and like celebrating our love with all our friendos as well. So um, you had trees going down the aisle. But see, like the scale of them is wrong because they would have been higher up, like longer and thinner and like met at the 
top so you'd still be able to see the bit at the end, but I can't like find the right trees. Uh, okay, let's get rid of these for a sec. Unless I lifted that tree at the end. No, that's still not gonna be right. Okay, delete, 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 delete. But since I can't get it just right, I'm just gonna go for this just to give you guys an idea. Although were the branches white? Or was it meant to be look more wintry? I can't remember. Maybe they were white? Maybe more like that. Okay, that's looking all cute. And then oh, there was like plants everywhere. Plants everywhere. Because you know how much I love plants, don't you? So there was so many plants. They were like streaming down that wall. Like I said, we went kind of home with this wedding. And then also they all had like um little candles underneath too. <gasps> and the tree would have had little like hanging candles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wake me up when 2020 ends. Obviously, this would have been um, a child-free wedding because of the, the candles and just the general burning risk, I think would definitely have been um, a bit of an issue, I would say. I think some of the f candles were actually faux candles. I think if they're on the floor, like in the UK, they have to be. If they're like at a venue, you can't just have like wild candles wilding. And I feel like there was like a bunch of like just greenery everywhere. The more I think of it, the more it definitely was a fire hazard. Um, <laughs> maybe it's a good tragedy that this wedding did not happen. Uh, no, I think a lot of these uh, candles were her. Uh, fake and yeah we wanted to make it look like a forest you didn't have your wedding but also you just don't blend to death so you know swings swings and roundabouts okay add a trim to all the chests this is the most effort i've ever put into a wedding venue ever what i was actually looking for is those cool like line fairy lights i have that i can never f Ooh, okay wedding arch light nice 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 i don't really like the black bits that hung down but it's just to try and show you guys that the tree had lights coming down from it you know it looked classy than this as well i don't know it kind of looks like a little bit oh intense intense lighting intense lighting is that coming from the top lights i might have to delete those nope not those where is that intenseness coming from i don't know but it would have been like the sun would have been setting and this room would have looked way more vibey than this <laughs> let's just ignore that there we go that's more vibey and then i think I think that's everything. The way that this was different is that door was actually set down. You came up steps to get in. Obviously though, Sims is a little bit awkward for that kind of thing. So I can't really do that. But the other thing that I know they're gonna need to actually get married in the Sims is an arch. Otherwise they just won't do it. So I don't think we had an arch. We were just gonna get married under the tree. But for the sake of the Sims, I will give them a little archway at the end here. I'm gonna hide it under the tree a little bit and just see if they will marry under it. Fingers crossed they will. Okay. Okay, so here is the way that our venue should have looked. There's a few things that are a little bit different. So um, these like spindly trees were meant to be more like long thin trees with greenery that would join at the top and like hang down gently. And the tree at the end would have been a little bit more big. I don't know if it would have been green. What color was the tree at the end? I can't remember. Can you tell that when something like sad happens, I'm just like, oh, just delete that memory. Don't need it. Goodbye. So yeah, it would have been coming down like this. They would have all been joining. And at the end of here would have been the tree. There wouldn't have been the archway, so ignore that. And then Ali's dad would have married us under the tree. We'd have watched the sun set in here. All of our loved ones would have been here. I'm trying not to do boohoos right now. And this would have been kind of the way it would have looked. Those doors would have opened and you would have looked right through down the house into like where we would have eaten and done speeches. It was all like really like communal. And there would have been a full on forest with flowers hanging down from the ceiling connecting with the trees on people's tables that have been like little fairy lights in vases and jars and <gasps> It would have been so freaking cute, but obviously it was not to be. However, that does not mean that I can't get married today at the venue of my choice. Where is Simali and Claire? Get them right now. Now, obviously we are still getting married, so there is still a dress. So I'm gonna give myself a dress that's very different to my real wedding dress, because that's still a little secret squirrel, okay? Oh my gosh, why have I got babies now? Why are they there? No. Okay, there we go. So there we go. That dress is nothing like my dress. So that's fine. And then for Ali. I don't think Ali even knows, has any idea of what he's wearing on his wedding day. We didn't get to that point. So I will just give him like a smart look. Oh, you guys were last used for Hunger Games. Well, this is much nicer. Although is it? Is this a different kind of torture? I think it is. I think it is. And I also figured, you know what? I don't know if I'm having pink hair on my wedding day, but there's no reason uh, why I can't have it on my sim wedding day, you know? So there we go. I'll even give me the roots. The roots to boots. I love that I can actually get my hair now. Oh, it's so cool. So I will send us to our venue, which we can't do in real life, but still. It's feeling better, guys. This is this is what feeling better feels like. Right? Right? Hopefully.
literally it is. Oh man, this is torture at this point. What am I doing to myself? What am I actually doing to myself? I've got Ali waiting under the tree at the end of the aisle. And then, oh, I missed my walk. Do it again. The doors open up and there I am walking down the aisle, hopefully a little bit more gracefully than that because that was a full stomp. A full stomp. And I knew they wouldn't be able to do it. I freaking knew they wouldn't be able to do it. Sims need so much room. Are you kidding me? You can get married there. Shut up. Shut up right now. I feel like Ali should be here for this torture. Why am I the only one being tortured, you know? I'm gonna make him come and enjoy this too. Okay, so Ali is here. Are you ready for some emotional terrorism? Okay, let's have a look. I built the wedding venue. Do you want to see it? All right. Okay. So... Oh, does it look really good? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. They're probably glad it didn't happen. This like, would have been to live up to this. That would have that is what it was gonna be. Apart from the arch, apart from the arch. But look, the room with like Wait, are we all spoilers of this here stuff? for your dress, by the way? No, my dress looks nothing like that. Okay. I did that on purpose, okay. but all of the rooms. How did stuff, you do that? It looks the same, doesn't it? That's wild. Apart from the stairs coming yeah. up. But yeah. Here oh my we god, go. that would have been so nice. Here's the wedding that never happened, Papa. Shed a tear. This is meant to make me feel better, but it's just made me feel really sad. Aww. My love, we're still gonna get married. I know, but it might be like so long away. I want us to put a little rings on. Claire, come on, get with it. Put the rings on there. You're we losing go. your hands. Oh, there we go. Oh, mine's huge. <laughs> I love it. I thought as well, I probably won't have pink hair at my wedding, but oh, yeah. there's no reason why I can't have pink hair. We literally here. got married. Yeah, we were literally getting married. Oh, wow. You can't hear, but in my ears, it's like, here comes the bride. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Where did find you? Jeez. So yeah, Ooh. that would have been our wedding. These bits, these little twigs here would have been little trees though, yeah. right? It wouldn't have been twigs, but I couldn't find anything just right. We'll find a better place. So. Yeah, we'll do better, even better than this one. But Somehow. Yeah, here is the wedding that never happened, guys. I hope you guys at least enjoyed this video. Um, we will be getting married one day. We still want to get married. We've not canceled it because we don't love each other very, very much. <laughs> but just because we can't do it right now, but we'll get married one day. We will. I still love you very, very much. And I'm glad you still do yeah, that's kind of lucky, right? And here is how our wedding venue would have looked. Actually, it would have been later on in the day, so the sun would have been setting. It would have all looked very beautiful, and yeah. The wedding that never happened, thanks to 2020 and coronavirus, instead we made it on Sims. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye!